Maya surveyed the carnage. A stray rogue brush, a rogue cat named Clementine, and a now very disgruntled looking man in pristine white pants. All her fault. The street fair was a riot of color and sound, the perfect inspiration for her latest piece. But inspiration, it seemed, wasn't always graceful. Oh my God, I am so sorry, Maya stammered, grabbing a rag. Let me help you clean that up. The man, tall and brooding with a scowl that could curdle milk, grimaced. Seems fate has a peculiar sense of humor today. His voice, however, lacked the expected bite. His name was Liam, Maya discovered, a tech billionaire with more money than common sense, apparently. That's how she ended up in her shoebox-sized studio, the acrid smell of paint thinner hanging heavy in the air patching him up. This is hardly ideal. Liam grumbled, wincing as she dabbed at a particularly stubborn stain. Tell me about it, Maya sighed. Unless you have magical stain-removing powers, your pants are toast. A flicker of amusement crossed Liam's face. Actually, I need something more magical than that. He explained the upcoming tech conference, the need for a polished image, and the astronomical sum he was willing to pay for a fake girlfriend. Maya snorted. A fake girlfriend? Seriously? Liam's smile, if you could call it that, was tight. Desperate times call for desperate measures, Ms. Turner. Desperate times. Now that was something Maya understood all too well. Student loans a constant weight on her shoulders. So, with a mix of trepidation and amusement, she agreed. Operation Maya 2.0, she declared, whipping out her phone. Thus began a whirlwind of online persona crafting. Maya, with her infectious enthusiasm and artistic flair, breathed life into the social media profiles of the sophisticated, jet-setting Maya 2.0, the perfect arm candy for tech mogul Liam Vance. Their online charade was hilarious. Maya, struggling to master the art of duck face selfies, accidentally sent one with Clementine photobombing in a paint-splattered bandana. The near exposure only added to the thrill. Yet amidst the chaos, a genuine connection bloomed. Maya saw the vulnerability hidden beneath Liam's gruff exterior, and Liam found himself captivated by Maya's fiery spirit and the way her eyes sparkled when she talked about art. The conference was a whirlwind. Maya, masquerading as Maya 2.0, navigated the glitzy world with a healthy dose of awkwardness. But then, disaster struck. A rival tech company exposed her true identity, painting Liam as a fraud. Humiliated, Maya fled. Liam, realizing his colossal mistake, chased after her. He found her huddled in her studio, tears welling in her eyes. He didn't apologize for the charade. He apologized for treating her like a prop. He confessed his feelings, his voice raw and honest. Maya, touched by his sincerity, confessed her own. In the end, they didn't need a fake relationship. They built a real one, based on mutual respect and the shared laughter that echoed through Maya's art-filled studio. Liam, surprisingly, even learned to appreciate the occasional paint splatter. Maya's art career took off, fueled by the unexpected publicity. As for Liam, well, he learned the most valuable tech isn't always found in a fancy gadget, but in the human connection you hold dear.